Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is what we know this entire week uh, coming up, we know as being what is considered Passion Week. Jesus, um, at, the, uh, at the end of this week, will have been crucified and will have died and rose again on the third day for us. Um, the first part of the week, you know, yesterday we, uh, we celebrated Palm Sunday, um, where amazingly the people worshipped him, Hosanna, Hosanna, you know, and they put palms out as he came through town as though they were um, adoring him as, as a king. And then within 24 hours or less than 24 hours, you know, things really took an abrupt turn, which we knew was going to happen. He came for a purpose. He came for a reason, and that was to die on the cross for our sins. And later on that night, and, uh, that and he was in the Garden of Gethsemane with his disciples and praying. And, you know, the Bible does say that you know, Jesus bears all and has lived all the way that we have lived, yet without sin. I'm kind of paraphrasing it. But he has went through everything that we have ever gone through, emotionally, physically, uh, you name it. And this is an example right here, I guess you might say, of sometime a part of the emotions that Jesus went through as he was uh, carried away by the crowd after Judas uh, betrayed him and take him before the uh, the high priest and all there there at the te uh, there at the temple or there in the in, in the square as they uh, tried to get him to find out what was going on and admit that he was God which he did when you know in Mark chapter uh, 14 and verse 61. And he held his peace after the, after the high priest had uh, had asked him uh, questions. And in 61, it says, after uh, he had held his peace, answering nothing. And again, the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, coming in the clouds of heaven. And at that point, he was condemned to death uh, for blasphemy, making himself uh, to be God, not like God, but to be God. And obviously, we know that he is God in the flesh. You know, Jesus came to this earth for a purpose. He is God. He is God. And he came here, the Bible says, we know the famous verse, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life he came for a purpose and here during this trial uh with with the high priest there were so many people that come against him and falsely accused him and false witnesses that lied about him and here these are the very people that he that, that he created the very people that he loved the very how many people have you loved so much that have turned their back on you how many people have betrayed you? Look what Judas did. Judas betrayed him. You know? Um, we know that um, Peter betrayed him. You know, Jesus told him, said, you're going to betray me three times before the cock crows. And sure enough, he did. His own people turned their back on him. How many times have you had your back turned on you? How many times have your closest relatives or friends have hurt you so bad? Imagine what Jesus went through at this point. You know, his very creation, his very people that he came to love and that he did love, turning their back on him and lying about him. But yet he, he held his peace. He didn't answer nothing, and finally he did when he asked straight out, Are you the Son of God? Are you the Son of the Most High Blessed? Are you Jesus? Are you the Christ? And he said, I am. You know what? He stood for it and he went and said that because he knew what he had to do. He became the ultimate sacrifice, the lamb of all lambs, to shed his blood for our sins. 
praise the Lord for it. Today uh, is the second day, if you want to say it's Palm Sunday, the first day. This is the second day of Passion Week. And I know I've been reading in the book of Psalms uh, over the past week or so, but I'm going to try to, this week, talk about Jesus and what he went through, you know, prior to the crucifixion, as he was crucified, because during this time, he's about to get beat. He's about to really go through a lot of pain, worse than the crucifixion itself. So I love you. God loves you. I hope you get something out of this today and the rest of this week, knowing that Jesus came for a reason. That reason was to die for you and me and to give us eternal life if we ask for it. God love you. I love you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.